Prince Pierre Napoleon Bonaparte was born in Rome, Italy, the son of Prince Lucien Bonaparte and his second wife Alexandrine de Blechamp. He was a nephew of Napoleon I of France, Joseph Bonaparte, Eliza Bonaparte, Louis Bonaparte, Pauline Bonaparte, Caroline Bonaparte and Jérôme Bonaparte. Career. He began his life of adventure at the age of 15, joining the insurrectionary bands in the Romagna, was then in the United States, where he went to join his uncle Joseph, and in Colombia with Francisco de Paula Santander. Returning to Rome he was taken prisoner by order of Pope Gregory XVI. He finally took refuge in the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland. At the Revolution of 1848 he returned to France and was elected deputy for Corsica to the Constituent Assembly. He declared himself an out-and-out -out Republican and voted even with the Socialists. He pronounced himself in favour of the national workshops and against the LOI Falio. His attitude contributed greatly to give popular confidence to his cousin, Louis Napoleon. A fuse coup d'acute on 2 December 1851 he disapproved, but he was soon reconciled to the emperor, and accepted the title of prince. The republicans at once abandoned him. From that time on he led a debauched life, and lost all political importance. Background to shooting in December 1869, a dispute broke out between two Corsican newspapers, the radical La Revanche, inspired from afar by Pascal Grousset and the loyalist Lavenir de la Corse, edited by an agent of the Ministry of Interior named Della Rocca. The invective of La Revanche concentrated on Napoleon I. On 30 December, Lavenir published a letter sent to its editor by Prince Pierre Bonaparte, the great nephew of Napoleon, and cousin of the then ruling Emperor Napoleon III. Prince Bonaparte castigated the staff of La Revanche as cowards and traitors. The letter made its way from Bastia to Paris. Grousset, the editor of the newspaper La Marseillaise, took offence and demanded satisfaction. In the meantime, La Marseillaise lent strong support to the cause of La Revanche. On 9 January 1870, Prince Bonaparte wrote a letter to Rochefort, claiming to uphold the good name of his family. After having outraged each of my relations, you insult me with the pen of one of your menials. My turn had to come. Only I have an advantage over others of my name of being a private individual, while being a Bonaparte. I therefore ask you whether your inkpot is guaranteed by your breast. I live, not in a palace, but at 59, Rue de Rotoy. I promise to you that if you present yourself, you will not be told that I left. Shooting on the following day, Grousset sent Victor Noir and Ulrich de Fonvielle as his seconds to fix the terms of a duel with Pierre Bonaparte. Contrary to custom, they presented themselves to Prince Bonaparte instead of contacting his seconds. Each of them carried a revolver in his pocket. Noir and de Fonvier presented Prince Bonaparte with a letter signed by Grousset. But the prince declined the challenge, asserting his willingness to fight his fellow nobleman Rochefort, but not his menials. In response, Noir asserted his solidarity with his friends. According to Fonvier, Prince Bonaparte then slapped to his face and shot Noir dead. That was the version eventually accepted by the court. Prince Pierre Bonaparte died in obscurity at Versailles. He is interred in the Cimetière des Garnards in Versailles. Wife and children. On the 22nd of March 1853, Pierre married the daughter of a Paris plumber working as a doorman, Justine Eleanor Ruffin, by whom he had had two children previously. Altogether the couple had an offspring of five. Notable were, fourth son, Prince Roland Napoleon Bonaparte. He entered the French army, was excluded from it in 1886, and then devoted himself to geography and scientific explorations. He was father to Marie Bonaparte, Princess Jean Bonaparte. She married Christian de Villeneuve-Lapon. Ancestry.